The Marriott World Trade Center was a 22-story steel-framed hotel building with 825 rooms. It was also known as World Trade Center 3, WTC 3 or 3 WTC, the World Trade Center Hotel, the Vista Hotel and the Marriott Hotel. It opened in July 1981 as the Vista International Hotel and was located at 3 World Trade Center in Manhattan, New York City, with the World Trade Center complex having its own zip code of 10,048. The hotel was destroyed beyond repair as a result of the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, after the collapse of the Twin Towers. The hotel was not replaced as part of the new World Trade Center complex, but does share its name with the new office tower. Topic building history The Vista International was the first hotel to open in Lower Manhattan since 1836. The building was designed by Skidmore, Owings and Merrill and was originally owned by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey and Kuo Hotels of Korea, with Hilton International acting as management agent. It was sold in 1995 to host Marriott Corporation, after an extensive renovation following the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. The hotel was connected to the North and South Towers, and many went through the hotel to get to them. The hotel had a few establishments including the American Harvest Restaurant, the Greenhouse Cafe, Tall Ships Bar and Grill, a store called Times Square Gifts, the Russia House Restaurant, and a Grey Line New York tour bus ticket counter. It also housed a gym that was the largest of any hotel in New York at the time, and a hair salon named Olga's. The hotel also had 26,000 square feet 2,400 square meters of meeting space on the entire third floor, along with the new Amsterdam ballroom on the main floor. It was considered a four-diamond hotel by AAA. In 2002, host Marriott Corporation was offered an opportunity to rebuild the hotel in the same location within the World Trade Center site as its lease had not expired. Marriott rejected the offer, thus giving the land to the National September 11 Memorial and Museum. Topic: 1993 World Trade Center bombing. On Friday, February 26, 1993, the hotel was seriously damaged as a result of the World Trade Center bombing. Terrorists affiliated with Al-Qaeda took a rider truck loaded with 1,500 pounds of explosives and parked it in the North Tower parking garage below the hotel's ballroom. At 12.18 p.m. EDT, the explosion destroyed or seriously damaged the lower and sub-levels of the World Trade Center complex. After extensive repairs, the hotel reopened in November 1994. Topic: <laughs> September 11, 2001 attacks. On Tuesday, September 11, 2001, the hotel was at full capacity and had over 1,000 registered guests. In addition, the National Association for Business Economics NABE, was holding its yearly conference at the hotel. When American Airlines Flight 11 crashed into the North Tower 1 WTC, at 8.46 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, its landing gear fell on the hotel's roof. Firefighters used the lobby as a staging area, and were also in the hotel to evacuate guests that may have still been inside. Firefighters also reported human remains of entire corpses on the roof from people that had jumped or accidentally fell from the burning towers. The collapse of the South Tower 2 WTC, at 9.59 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time split the building in half such damage can briefly be seen in the documentary film 9-11, and the collapse of the North Tower at 10.28 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time destroyed the rest of the hotel aside from a small section as seen on the picture that was furthest from the North Tower. 
Fourteen people who had been trying to evacuate the partially destroyed hotel after the first collapse managed to survive the second collapse in this small section. The section of the hotel that had managed to survive the collapse of the Twin Towers had been upgraded after the 1993 bombing. Topic aftermath As a result of the collapse of the Twin Towers, the hotel was destroyed beyond repair. Only the southern part of three stories of the building were still standing, all of which were eventually removed. In the remnants of the lobby, picture frames with the pictures inside them were still hanging on the walls. Approximately 40 people died in the hotel, including two hotel employees and many firefighters who were using the hotel as a staging ground. In January 2002, the remnants of the hotel were completely dismantled. The National September 11th Memorial and Museum now exists where the hotel once stood. The building and its survivors were featured in the television special documentary film Hotel Ground Zero, which premiered September 11, 2009 on the History Channel. <laughs> <laughs>